Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a hot minute. It's been a good long while since your girl here has vlogged. Um, I'm gonna get into what I got for Christmas in a little bit. Ella's in here playing with her Barbies. Right? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into everything I got for Christmas. I don't think I'm going to do everything Ella got for Christmas this year because everything's already out of the boxes and just scattered throughout the house. So it'd be way too chaotic. <laughs> but, um, just keep your eyes out for that. However, I did want to sit down and talk to you guys about life and what has been going on. So... The big project we've been working on that I've been telling you guys about every few vlogs or whatever, um, whatever I did post, was, whoops, it was being kept a secret for the time being just because we didn't know how it was going to go and we didn't want to announce to anything, to anybody and have it not go the way we planned. However, now we can't. <clears throat> so, I will show you guys and then I will explain to you guys what is happening. So, what that be? I can't hear you, what? Grandma's sleeping. Okay, I'll keep it quiet, okay? Her dolls are sleeping. So. Ugh. Forgot the one thing that I needed to grab. <laughs> Christmas day. After I finally had a minute to sit down and breathe after our chaotic morning opening presents and um, our busy afternoon prepping with din uh, Christmas dinner. We did the ham, we did deviled eggs, mashed potatoes, we did a pie, and I feel like there's one other thing, but I can't remember. But yeah. Oh, excuse me. We were busy with that, plus having to take breaks from that to help Ella open some of the toys and all kinds of fun stuff. But I posted this on my personal Facebook. Oops. So, yes. We are pregnant and we are due in May with another baby girl. Um, so now I want to give you guys the like rundown of the last 18, almost 19 weeks. Um, <clears throat> so I should get all of my ultrasound pictures. Let me go get those real quick and then we can continue. Oh. oh, if I can get up off the floor. It's been hard getting up off the floor these days. So, it has been amazing but rough, to say the least. Um, everything's going good. It's just this pregnancy is so different than Ella's and it's just absolutely mind-boggling to me that it can be so different. I mean, I know it would be, but, you know. Okay. Got my two folders with ultrasound pictures. I'm gonna go back out there, sit down, and talk to you guys. Okay. So, as you guys know, <sighs> it's 
September 9th, I went and got this tattoo done, okay? I was like 2 DPO and I figured what could hurt, you know? I'm 2 DPO. Baby had it implanted at this point. Everything was good. December, September 10th, we had Ella's fourth birthday party. That was on a Saturday. Sunday went by. Monday, September 12th, Ella started school. She started her pre-K class. September 13th, she actually turned four. <laughs> September 15th, I get the faintest positive known to man on a Walmart cheapie and I am freaking out. Freaking out. Okay, so when I got my tattoo, it was the 9th and I was 2 DPO. So 10th, 11th, 12th, 13, 14, 15. I was 8 DPO and I got my first positive. Called my OB, let them know. And what day did she have me going for blood work? I have to check my app on my phone because your girl doesn't remember her exact numbers or anything like that. So, um, okay. Okay, so my HCG, I went 9.15. So the day I got the faintest positive, I went and got blood work done. It came back. Okay, so I got the positive that morning. This was in the afternoon. So I went back, got my blood work done at 2 o'clock. And it was 16.6. So my OB said repeat in four days because at this point, I think she, it was on a Monday she wanted me to repeat uh, because the 15th was a Thursday. So two days after would have put me at Saturday and our labs aren't open on Saturdays and Sundays. So she had me go back in on Monday. So I had Thursday, you know, the rest of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we would check my numbers at that appointment. Um, 9.46 a.m., right after I dropped Ella off at school, I went down to get my blood work done on 9.19, September 19th, and my levels came back at 126.6. So that was good. However, they still wanted my numbers to be, <laughs> with my history of loss and everything, they wanted to do a third beta draw just to see, make sure my numbers are doubling. Um, I go back on 921 at 914. So that was right after I dropped her off. That would just happen to be a day that nobody else was in the lab. And got my HCG taken. Later that day, it came back at 310.9. <clears throat> so things are looking good because from 126, we'll say 127, to one, you know, doubled would be 154 or 254 and it was at 310. So it was doing really good. Then they wanted me to wait <clears throat> seven days, let my eight CGs get numbers, get up into the thousands. And at that point we would schedule an ultrasound. Um, I went back at nine to, or on September 28th at 9.30 is when my blood drop got taken. And my number was at 3,149. So that's great. My numbers were doubling the way that they should and everything started looking up and I started getting really excited. That's the last of the blood work that I got done for HCG numbers. They 
called scheduled for an ultrasound and it was for september 14th at i think it was 10 a.m 11 a.m something like that which happened to be friday which was the day that i had to go set up for pumpkin fest the craft show that i was doing it was a three-day event i had to set up friday morning and i just stayed there and the craft show started at two i think um, that day and Tim ended up picking Ella up from school that day so I went and got my blood work or my ultrasound done Tim met me up there he drove up separately just to meet me up there because I drove the van because obviously I had all my craft show stuff but he wanted to be there just in case this ultrasound did not go the way we were hoping it would go but it did everything was looking great we had our little nugget here um, I'll show you guys these pictures. These are the three pictures that I got from 814. This one here is probably my favorite because you can like really see the details of the skull in here. And here's the third one. Um, the ultrasound tech absolutely made me livid with my pictures because you know most people will crease them at the white part, you know, where the pictures like separate between here. No, this chick just folded it right in half of my picture and I was absolutely peed off um but yeah so we had our little nugget at this was taken at eight weeks one day um <clears throat> they were measuring a little small which concerned me but I try not to let it bother me um <clears throat> and then let me go back and look at my pictures because I got another like emergency ultrasound but they were not able to give me the like any pictures or anything like that um <clears throat> let's see come on where is it Okay, that's the 14th okay so I went back on this was on October 21st that I had these done and like I said they couldn't print out pictures for me but she stepped out of the room to let me get dressed and I looked at the monitor and everything was black except for in the corner there were four tiny little pictures so I snapped a picture of this one, which isn't the best picture, if it'll focus on her. Oops. So that's the picture that I ended up taking on her computer before I came home and she wasn't able to really tell me anything the doctor did tell me her tell her to tell me that it was okay to tell me that everything looked good that there was nothing concerning um the reason why i had gone back is i had some really bad cramping that really freaked me out and i know that type of thing can be normal but like at the same time with my history of losses and everything i was freaking out so we were, she, my OB was totally understanding and she had been so great with me throughout this pregnancy and it was heaven sent. So we got that done and then it's 11, 12, 11, 12. Okay, so yeah, after the October 21st one or whatever, um we had booked a third party like elective ultrasound because i was quite frankly i was freaking out still you know i with my pregnancies in the past um with austin we technically carried until 18 weeks three days but baby's heart his heart stopped at 14 weeks five days so I never really made it very far into like the second trimester um this one was taken on 11 12 
and I don't remember I was 12 weeks two days for this ultrasound and we got this one just to help ease my mind and just relax me and everything like that because there's there's a lot of I want to kind of say like PTSD with me and pregnancies Um, so we got these pictures printed out and then we have a whole other bunch on our phone But we got this picture, which is like her little profile picture And we got this 3d one And like I said, this is just the two that they printed out for us. This is not even including um My brain's not working. That's not including what we got sent to my email or anything like that. And obviously 12 weeks is way too soon to find out the gender. But we found out that their office was now offering the sneak peek clinicals. And Tim surprised me and ended up paying for it, which was so sweet. Um, and blood work confirmed to us that it was a girl. So we found out that she was a little girl and my heart was so happy and after that we didn't really talk about names or anything. We still really haven't talked about names. Um, Tim was waiting until our next ultrasound to confirm the gender on ultrasound before really starting to talk about anything. Um, so after that appointment, um, I had an OB appointment like a week later or something like that. And she was so understanding about my nerves and my like anxiety revolving around pregnancy right now that instead of the traditional four weeks, she agreed to see me back in two weeks. And so you know, I had that appointment. Two weeks later, I had the other appointment. And then she scheduled it for four weeks because within two weeks after my last appointment, I was going for my anatomy scan, which I did go for. But she's been really, really helpful and really sweet revolving everything like this because she has been, she has been heaven sent. Like, I cannot even, like, I, I don't... I don't even know she's been like the absolute sweetest um anyways for tim's birthday we ended up going back up to erie and had another family day we went um to a couple of stores that we stopped and got our second elective ultrasound um met the family for lunch or for dinner and then we went and took the kids to chuck e cheese everything like that so it was a good day um but we got this done, it was 17 weeks and two days on 12-17, so this is December 17th. We got that picture printed out, and then we got this 3D one printed out. And again, we got a ton others sent to our, like my uh, email, but I'm not gonna have time to show all of those because there's there's a lot of pictures. So obviously I'm not gonna show you guys all of them, but yes, so we did get quite a few pictures. I'm trying to put this one back in the like letter board here. Here we go, back in there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we got those. And then yesterday, right, the 27th, Yes, December 27th, I went in and had my anatomy scan done. So, I'll show you guys the pictures from those and I'll talk to you guys. I have to go back on January 23rd, I believe it is, for a second anatomy scan because baby girl was not cooperating. They couldn't see the four chamber heart view. They couldn't see the PVOT or something like that. And the 
spine was limited is how they put it because they couldn't get all of the angles and stuff of the spine that they needed <clears throat> so i do have to go back and honestly at my one appointment my ob said to not be surprised if i have to because the <laughs> She put the Doppler on my belly to listen to her heartbeat, to listen to baby girl's heartbeat, and she like swam away from her. And it took my doctor like four minutes to find the heartbeat again. So she's like, don't be surprised because this little one seems stubborn, which, go figure. Um, but we did get five pictures printed out at our anatomy scan, so. She was being all smushed and she was not stretching out for anything, but she did manage to get this 3D photo. Then you've got this profile, this profile, that profile there, and then her potty shot that says she's a girl. Real focus. There you go. So, you know, you've got a leg, a leg, and her bottom here. Um, so yeah, we got plenty of pictures from this ultrasound. <clears throat> and I came home and continued on with the rest of my day. Um, today is now December 28th. Uh, yeah so I'm sorry I keep yawning I am I have been so exhausted as of the last couple of days but her heart rate has been around the 144 145 range um in my anatomy scan it was down to 137 but that's not like too far off um <clears throat> at my anatomy scan they said she was measuring about seven pounds almost eight or not pounds about eight ounces um seven between seven and eight ounces she's weighing obviously estimated and she's in the 17th percentile so she is going to be a little nugget which look at me i'm short so you know you're welcome, girls, because I'm pretty sure Elle is going to be short, too. Um, but she... <sighs> Man, she started making her feet, uh, movements be felt around 16 weeks-ish area. I would feel a little kick here or there. Not kick, but like a flutter or whatever the way I described it is it felt like when you go over like a hill in a car you get that buddy feeling in your belly that's kind of what it felt like um or it felt like you stuck your finger in water went like this and kept your finger there that felt the ripples off of your finger if that makes sense those are the first few movements that I felt and then the other day I don't know what she did in there but it was Christmas Eve I was laying in bed and I felt her on the left side of my body and it's like she bent her legs kicked out and then on the right side I ran out of time but it was like so like she like crouched down and like did like a blast off with her legs with her arms above her head and like smacked the other side of my belly it was really weird that's what it kind of felt like though like it was movement over here then just immediately over here it was so weird um but yeah so we are extremely extremely excited to welcome our little girl in may i am due may 25th 26th area um my ultrasounds have been ta saying the 25th but my ob's office says the 26th so i'm not sure but every Thursday I hit a new week. So Thursday, what day? Thursday, December 29th, I will be 19 weeks. So when you guys are seeing this, I'm 19 weeks. Um, she's looking good. She's looking healthy. Everything is going good. And this is the second furthest that I've ever made it in 
any of my pregnancies. So with Austin, we technically carried him until 18.3, like I said, but his heart stopped at 14.5. So I, I go with the 18.3, but now looking back, I should really only say like 15 because that's really all the further that he had grown. Then I had Austin, or not Austin, I had Ella. She was obviously carried to term. She was two days past her due date. <laughs> then I had River, which was our 11 week loss that I had. Then I had the chemical pregnancy last Christmas. I was actually going through the like miscarriage on Christmas Eve, Christmas day. Hi. Is in there? I'm, I'm vlogging. I'm telling everyone we're gonna have a baby. Who's having a baby? Who, who's in here? Big sister. Come here. This girl is so excited to be a big sister. She cannot wait. Yeah, huh? I can't. Yeah. You're gonna help me with the diapers. Yeah, I can teach her paper diaper. And you're gonna help me feed her bottles. Yeah. And give her baths yeah she is so excited you guys like she cannot wait yeah and i can trust her up too well yes and no <laughs> we'll have to see and do a trial run see how that goes but what, yeah what's the fit on me sister is it is a tiny r baby baby sister is about this big now this big now? She's getting big, yeah. Is Remember she... she used to be like itty bitty little thing? Now she's getting big. Yeah, and he's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yep, every day she grows a little bit. She cannot wait to be a big sister. She <laughs> sees babies at the store. She's like, oh, she's got a baby sister. She's like, I'm going to be a big sister. She's just, she's so excited. All right, stand up. Is that baby sister? That is baby sister. Okay, watch out. In my bag. Uh, it's out on the counter, honey. On the counter? This counter. Look, stop, look, up, 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 up. No. See it? No. Right by your Pringles. Is that mine? Yeah, that was yours. Um. So yeah, we are just all very excited and for Christmas everyone was asking me what do you want because I stopped making tumblers for right now. I stopped doing all kinds of epoxy stuff. I don't really craft that much anymore and nobody knew what to get me for Christmas this year and I told them, I said, to be honest, just get me baby stuff because it's been four years since we had Ella. A lot of the stuff that we got for her we don't have anymore. Um, a lot of her clothes we ended up taking to Once Upon a Child, which is perfectly okay because they would have been out of season. But, uh, like, you know, Ella was born at the middle of September, so it starts, it's when the weather starts to chill off. So all of her stuff was like long sleeve bodysuits and pants for newborn in zero to three months. And this baby is due at the end of May, right when the like, spring ending is summer starting. So it's going to be short, uh, short sleeve body suits and Ma, stuff like that. Open this up for me. Yep, I will open your snowman cookie up for you. We stopped at Starbucks yesterday and so she got a snowman cookie. And yeah. she didn't want it. They were out of cake pop so she was kind of sad. So she didn't eat the snowman cookie then. But she can have her snowman cookie now. What? Here, what make is that on it? That's sugar. Sugar? Lick it. It's sugar. It's made to be like snow on the bottom of a snowman. Go throw that away. Thank you. I like um, sugar. But yeah, I said just get me baby stuff. So for my next video, if you guys want to tune in and see what kinds of items I got for Christmas for baby girl, go ahead and go find it, go watch it. It will be up either the same day or the day after this video. 
Um, I'll show you guys everything that I got for Christmas and then I'll show you guys everything that we have thus far for baby girl. So stay tuned for the next couple of videos because that's what those good videos are going to be. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.